This is Dolan TV, and you'd swear I just came fresh off the Rocky Mountains after a 6-2 Edmonton Oilers victory over top of the Colorado Avalanche this evening. My goodness, ladies and gentlemen, what a fantastic effort from our Edmonton Oilers tonight. There are a couple of things I will nitpick a little bit into this video, but with that aside, Connor McDavid... <laughs> Six points on six goals for the Edmonton Oilers this evening. If that ain't production, I don't know what is. What a fantastic night for him. He goes from here in the scoring race to here behind Leon Dreisaitl, who had a five-point night as well. The hot stat, ladies and gentlemen, the stat you need to know following this game is Connor McDavid's first ever six-point night. It's Leon Dreisaitl's first ever five-point night. And let's go. We got it done tonight, and that is absolutely fantastic to bounce back like that uh, after what was an absolute disaster against the San Jose Sharks to an extent. I mean, realistically, we lost 6-3. It could have been a little, the way we played a little bit of that game and the way we were zone covering in the defensive zone. We should have been a lot off worse considering how well the Sharks were to get into pucks. But that said, we bounced back 6-2 and somehow, after a 6-3 loss and a 6-2 win, end up with a plus one in the goal differential column. So... Go tell me how that one works. This Edmonton Oilers team, guys, a mystery through 21 games, but it's the best kind of mystery it can be because it's a game-winning mystery tonight, a 6-2 victory, as I said. <laughs> oh, man, I can't believe it. I don't know why you're laughing. This is breaking news. Yeah. So maybe we should start with the breaking news. That's where we should get to instead. Section 209, Saturday afternoon, against the Dallas Stars, ladies and gentlemen. That's where I'm sitting for my first Oilers game at Rogers Place. In two years, is that going to sound bad since the 17-18 season? It's been a while, but I'm going to get my butt down there and we're going to have a good old time down at Rogers Place on Saturday against the Dallas Stars. We'll get more to that in a minute, but we do have a hockey game to recap here first. As guys, the what I want you to chew on right now, though, for that Saturday game. It's Saturday, right? It's the Hockey Night in Canada game. Technically speaking, it's in the afternoon, so it might not count in some people's perspective. That said, do I go Connor McDavid jersey up on the wall? Or do I go with the suit that I normally rock during the live streams during... Saturday games. You let me know in the comments section below. I'll let you chew on that and let's go get into covering this game and wrapping it up as most points since the start of 17-18. Well, Connor McDavid, duh, has the most points. That's no special stat there, Sportsnet. But let's get to it. The scoreboard, the recap, and we need to cover things quickly here. So the Dallas Stars and the Vancouver Canucks tied 2-2. Anaheim, San Jose tied 2-2. Detroit, LA tied 1-1. And then, of course, you've got the Arizona Coyotes falling in regulation to the Minnesota Wild. Things aligned in our favor instead of Arizona's favor. We stay atop the Pacific Division tonight. That's fantastic with a 6-2 victory over the Colorado Avalanche. Let's recap this one, guys. It started off hot with, well, what was a fantastic night from Zach Kazian. He pretty much almost, almost put... Nathan McKinnon out for the season. If he would have hit him any harder, Nathan McKinnon would have been out for the season. I, I I can almost attest to that. So that was good to see. Zach Kazian bowling over Nathan McKinnon, setting the tone early. Gets in a fight with Calvert right away. Ooh, you love to see that 28 seconds into a hockey game. But get this one. The Oilers go out there, do all that. Zach Kazian wrecking ball kills lots of momentum for the Avalanche and gets the Oilers just riled up, right? Well, we're without him for the next 4 minutes and 32 seconds to start the game to the 15 minute mark. And somehow Colorado scores the first goal in that. Uh, well, it's just a simple idea. Same thing as, well, you think the Aaron Ekblad goal against uh, Florida. 
I think of a couple of them now this season. Andre Burkowski walks into the slot unattended as the last man in and scores a goal. Sniper's going to score. Sniper's going to snipe. It is what it is. Nazem Kadri with the assist. It's a one nothing game. So like I said, five minutes in, she was looking ugly. Crowd was dead. Building was dead. It is what it was. Then all of a sudden, I don't know what, what aligned here. I, I can't remember exactly what happened. But Connor McDavid, Leon Dreisettle on the ice with Ryan Nugent Hopkins. And he, he you, you just hate to see it. A rookie goalie having to face that sneaky shot of Ryan Nugent Hopkins. Oh, boys, it was our time to eat tonight. And absolutely, that's what the Oilers did tonight. Ryan Nugent Hopkins scores his fourth goal of the game. As I said, you already know the point totals for McDavid and Drysaddle. I'm not going to count them up. You just follow along, make your notes, and make sure to check sportsnet.ca after this game. I know there might be some stuff going on there, but we're not going to cover that in tonight's video. Connor McDavid then scores the Oilers' second goal about six minutes later on the power play, his first power play marker of the night. Oscar Clefbaum, James Neal get the assist. Ooh. Ooh, 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 yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, we're starting to cook. Then Zach Kazian, guys, moments later, like we're not even talking 30 seconds later, gets in front of the net, right into the greasy area, right where a guy like Milan Lucic should have been standing for the past three years. Well, now it's Zach Kazian, and he's dynamite there. Seven goals on the season after that one tonight. Leon Dreisaitl, Connor McDavid, the assist. Then, oh, you thought this, sorry, you thought this, First period was over. We're up 3-1 at that point. Well, <laughs> no, 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 no. Connor McDavid, he's got plans for his 13th goal of the year, his second of the game, and his second on the power play from Leon Dreisaitl and Oscar Kleffbaum, who you'll hear his name one more time. And then we roll into that second period, and this is where the game pretty much comes to a grinding halt. Well, after that period ended, that second period, that's what I mean. Connor McDavid scores his 14th goal, a hat trick on the power play tonight. Oscar Kleffbaum, Leon Dreisaitl, the assists. And then, well, hey guys, it, it seemed to be a night of everybody doing the same job for each team. Andre Burakovsky scores his seventh goal of the game to cut it to a 5-2 lead for the Oilers. Eric Johnson with the assist at 16:36 of the second period. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, and you thought Ryan Nugent Hopkins was done after undressing one rookie goalie over the blocker's shoulder. No, 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 no. Antoine Bibo, who only has two career NHL games prior to tonight, who came in to back up Adam Werner. Well, guess what? You get welcome to the show just all the same by that sneaky shot of Ryan Nugent Hopkins. Fifth goal of the season from Connor McDavid. Leon Dreisaitl wrap it up with that pretty bow. Let the third and fourth lines play. Let the second line get comfortable all third period long. And let's have a fantastic finish at Rogers Place 6-2. Would have loved to see him score more goals. But guys, you know what? I think the broadcast duo of Kevin Quinn and Louis DeBrusque, why I like them so much, they sum things up so well. They said it very plain spoken, very plain and easy to understand. You don't want to give the Colorado Avalanche a reason to beat your next game. So playing that third and fourth line just to grind it down, gear it out, get the job done tonight. Fantastic coaching by a, well, Brilliant coach so far in Dave Tippett of the Edmonton Oilers to shut it down, get the 6-2 victory. That's where I'm going to turn it over for a second. I'm going to plug myself. Guys, if you watch this far and you're like, man, this guy's got some energy for this kind of stuff, get on that subscribe button. You get these videos that much faster if you subscribe to Dolany TV. That's all I'm going to say. Plus, you'll get into the community tab access, which will tell you exactly where I am at Rogers Place on Saturday afternoon. Shots were 33-28 to 28 for the, well, Avalanche. Oilers got out shot, but at least we got close to 30 shots, and we scored six goals, so, uh, what? Anyway, um, 33 shots, that means Mike Smith made 31 saves. Great effort from him to bounce back from that San Jose game. 24-14, the hits for the Oilers. Oh, you just love to see that. 50-50 in faceoffs with the one Face-off edge going to the Avalanche, 29-28. to 28, 15 minutes each in penalties for both teams. Giveaways, 12-8 to eight for the Oilers. Takeaways, 8-4 for the Oilers. Block shots, 16-11 to 11 for the Oilers. And the only real thing you need to know about those penalties, there were a lot of dumb penalties on part of the Oilers tonight. And three of them, like I said, I was going to nitpick something tonight. It's Darnell Nurse and pretty much really dumb penalties. I mean, you know what, that last one, maybe you can say it's a result of playing hard. Ah, I don't I don't buy it. It was just uh, that late in the game. You don't need to be taking a dumb penalty to just add two minutes to your penalty total for the season. So Mike Smith, 
Two goals against a 939 save percentage tonight. And guys, this is what you love to see. There is only one guy who, or two guys, pardon me, who played more than 20 minutes tonight. And their names are Oscar Clefbaum and Chris Russell, if you can believe it. So right there, guys, that's magnificent to see. Connor McDavid, 17 minutes and 55 seconds on the ice. Then you've got Leon Dreisaitl. You know what? Dreisaitl also had five points, 16 minutes and 58 seconds. Effective, efficient. Guys, they preach it at work, at my work. You know what, boss man, our, our first focus, or our first word was focus, now our second word is efficiency. And guys, you see what happens when the Oilers focus on getting pucks on net and are efficient with their shots. Big W's, big W's all day. So guys, that's where I'm going to leave it. You know what, fantastic effort. Leon Dreisaitl now leads the league with 41 points in 21 games. Guys, Leo Dreisaitl is averaging almost like a sliver off two points a game through 21 games. That is nuts. That is absolutely clown numbers, bro. That's unreal. Guys, Tyson Dolany TV, hit that subscribe button on your way out. I will catch you Saturday afternoon at Roger's Place. I will have a video up tomorrow. I'm just not sure what it's going to be. I've got a couple ideas. I just have to get where I'm going for the night on Friday to figure out uh, what exactly we're going to be talking. As always, I'll catch you in the next one.